I came to Chile around four months ago, and it has become my country. But what we need in this country is solidarity. Venceremos! Venceremos! Hey! <laughs> Give me the camera. Camera's mine now. Te quiero. Hello? What? There's been a military coup. We have to go. Where are we gonna go? I don't know. Just out! You know where he is? It's a place in the south, completely cut off from the outside world. What's it called? Colonia Dignidad. When I was nine years old in, in school, actually, we saw a documentary on the Colonia Dignidad, and I, I, was, uh, I was shocked and I was very furious as a, as a boy. And since, since then, the subject of Colonia was always something that I knew about and that I felt strongly about. And seven years ago, maybe, I, I, I read about it again in the newspaper and there was just like a moment you think, oh, that's interesting, maybe, maybe I make a film about that. And I started to research more and find out more about it. And, you know, and then suddenly you're like inside it and you're like already thinking about nothing else but this, uh, this, this movie that you want to make. And then, yeah, then I made it. It's a kind of cult run by a man called Paul Schaefer to set up a world according to his rules in the middle of nowhere. What if I went there, joined up? Well, it was cool. Uh, you know, I mean, as a director, you dream of working with someone like Emma. And um, Emma is somebody who really prepares very, very well for, for a part. So um, we went to Chile before the movie to the Colonia de Lidad. I showed her the real place. Okay. She met the real people and she really emotionally connected very strongly to the subject. And uh, this emotional connection and her, her very, I mean, her commitment and her dedication and her preparation, uh, you know, just showed you how professional she is. I mean, she's very young, mm -hmm. but she has been on film sets forever. Mm -hmm. So she is just a very professional, um, uh, very inspired, uh, very intelligent, I have to say, very intelligent young woman. I wouldn't do that. I may never get back out. Come in. Ours is a poor and humble life. Once you join us, you must remain. Is that how you serve the Lord? You must have a boyfriend, someone who loves you. No. I took you in like a daughter. Now you show your true face. We shot more than half of the film in Luxembourg, and in our case, it was uh, it was uh, you know it was easy in the in the sense that we found fantastic locations in Luxembourg, and um, the place in Chile where the movie or where the story plays lo looks exactly the same way like like Luxembourg. So that was that came in very handy. Every country has its own system and you know how a film crew is set up how the hierarchy works how the communi communication process works and so the you know the the difficult or the the challenge in the beginning was to coordinate and to synchronize those two systems the german system the luxembourg system and when, then we had people from south america as well so to get all this together it took some time and it was a bit of a Babylon in the beginning like everybody you know thought in his own system so we needed some you know days in the beginning but then uh, once it worked it was uh, it was perfect oh you think you made a mistake that you shouldn't have come here 